Seedless fruits are a commercial success, as no one likes to have to deal with pesky seeds when they're eating. But how does a plant grow if it doesn't have seeds? I'm guessing they have some help. Most seedless fruits that you see in the supermarket aren't natural. Scientists grow them in a lab. They've developed them from plants whose fruits normally contain a large number of big seeds. The scientists start by taking a trimming from a branch and then mix it with a bunch of nutrients. Then they put it into the soil where a new plant grows, minus the seeds. Watermelons are a different story, though. Some watermelons are naturally seedless, and we call these tetraploids. When a tetraploid watermelon is crossed with a regular seeded one, it produces a new seedless watermelon. The sky is blue, as our air throws blue light from the sun across the sky, which then reaches our eyes. This is because the air is made up of many tiny molecules, mostly nitrogen. When the sunlight hits the nitrogen molecules, it turns into blue light. This blue light gets scattered across the air and bounces around in the sky. That makes the sky look blue to our eyes. Only female bees can sting, as males don't have the right anatomy. They can only sting once, because the female honeybee stinger is made up of two barbed lancets. Once the stinger goes into something, it can't be pulled out. The stinger is attached to the bee's digestive tract, which means that when the bee tries to remove the stinger, its entire digestive system, muscles, and nerves are pulled out. That's why it takes guts to sting. Literally. It seems it would be much easier if planes flew in a straight line. In fact, the circumference of the Earth is much greater at the equator than near the poles. This means that curving toward the poles is a shorter distance than just flying in a straight line. It takes 365 and a quarter days for the Earth to orbit the Sun. Because our calendar years only have 365 days, we add an extra day every four years to make up for the difference. This is why we have leap years every four years, as they include this extra day. Starfish are able to regrow arms if they detach from the central body. They can even take it one step further and grow an entirely new body from an arm. They can store nutrients they need in the arm until they're able to grow a new mouth. They have enough cells that can turn themselves into different organs and tissue when a limb is severed. Now, wouldn't that be handy? When your phone gets down to 1%, it seems to stay on for longer than expected. This is because your battery percentage is just an estimate, and the phone doesn't actually know how much charge is left. Cactuses, or cacti, can survive in the desert with basically no water thanks to three main features. First, they have long roots that go deep inside the soil so they can absorb water. Second, they have spines instead of leaves so that they don't lose water that would evaporate off leaves. Finally, their stems are covered in a thick, waxy layer that keeps water trapped inside them. Still, it's better if you don't hug a cactus. They can get prickly sometimes. Bluetooth works without wires, as it uses radio waves to send information like your radio, TV, and cell phone. Like radio, each device operates on one of many frequency channels. If two devices want to link, they pick a channel randomly. If it's already taken, they switch to one of the others. This is why they don't interfere with each other. They're only short-range transmitters, though, which explains why your devices won't carry your signals too far. The police lights are red and blue, so that drivers can easily see them at any time of day. Red lights are the easiest to spot during the day, and blue lights are the clearest at night. Humans naturally float in the Dead Sea because of the concentration of salt in the water there is very high. That makes the water super dense. It's like molecules that are closely compacted, so nothing can break through. Humans are less dense, physically. That's why we stay on the surface of the water. If you put a cucumber near a cat, it's likely to jump as if it's watching the scariest movie. This is probably down to the cucumber looking a bit like a snake. It turns on an inherent flight reflex that makes the cat bolt. And please just take my word for it and don't scare your kitty with the fruit we all think is a vegetable. Now, this may come as a shock to some, but each dog gives off a unique smell from behind, which passes on vital information to other dogs. 
they can determine whether they have met each other before just by the smell of their bums. This is why they do it every time they see a fellow pup. It's like an ID card for dogs. We say hang up the phone, although all we do is click a button because old phones used to have two parts, a base and a receiver. To end a call, people used to hang up the receiver onto the base. It's a similar story why we say dial a number. Old phones used to have a rotating dial, which you'd have to turn to call a number. Wow, suddenly I feel old. School buses are yellow, as it was found to be the most visible color. It reduces the risks of accidents and also helps passengers catch the bus. It's also this color, as black lettering on yellow proved to be the easiest to read in semi-darkness and from long distances. People in the UK drive on the left side of the road, not the right. This dates back to the 18th century London, when cars could drive on any side of the road. Traffic jams and collisions started happening a lot, so a law was passed saying that all traffic going over London Bridge must keep to the left. This rule then spread to all parts of the UK. Get equipped for any season with brand new Brightside merch. Click the link and grab your print. Around 85% of people are right-handed. The left side of our brain is the one responsible for planning and execution. Each side of the brain controls actions on the opposite sides of the body. So the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body. When you use tools or write, you use the left side of your brain. Is that clear? I'm confused. Birds don't get electrocuted sitting on a power line because they have both feet on the wire and no circuit is created. The electricity travels along the wire instead of through the bird. This only works if the amount of electricity flowing through the wire stays the same. If the voltage in the wire is changing, it's a different story. But birds are so small they can't really store much electrical charge. This means that even if electricity did flow through them, the charge would be way too small to shock them. Which also explains why birds, when shopping, prefer to charge than pay cash. The Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans have an invisible barrier that stops them from mixing. The water in them has different densities, chemical makeup, and salt levels. You can see that just by looking at them as they're each a completely different color. The image on the Save button on your Word document represents a floppy disk. They were a popular way of storing and saving data in the 90s, but now they're mostly forgotten. Boy, I'm really feeling old. Roosters crow in the morning as they have their own internal alarm clock that helps them anticipate sunrise. They need to know when the sun will rise so they can get a head start on their daily chase for food and defend their territory. Roosters also like to doodle on paper, which is where cock-a-doodle-doo came from. Eh, just kidding. Your dog might be eating grass for a reason. It needs roughage like grass in its diet so it can get fiber, which helps digestion. If pups don't have enough, they might not be able to digest food properly. Tractors have big back wheels so that they can pull any weight behind them without tipping. The big wheels also have a large surface area, which helps to stop grass and soil below from being compacted. Dogs don't just wag their tails when they're happy. They use their tails to communicate and express how they're feeling to other animals. It shows a range of emotions, from nervousness to excitement. And the grass is green as it produces a bright pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs blue light and red light, but reflects green light, hence the color of your lawn.